Let's talk about tree diagrams. Before we do that, I want to show you one of my favorite pictures. Look, things I do not understand. <laughs> it's pie charts. <laughs> it's so clever. Because <laughs> nothing makes sense, clearly. <laughs> All right, let's do tree diagrams. That's some more serious thing. Here we go. So um, they can be helpful for more complicated things. That's true. This is going to be when we have different probabilities stemming out from something. That's what sort of looks like the you know branches of a tree if you turned it sideways. Uh, so let's say we have this event A here. Well, this here would represent the probability of A happening. And if that's the case, well, because complementary events, uh, the probabilities have to add up to 1, I know this here is going to be the probability of not A. So if this is like, I don't know, 0 0.5, so is this 0 0.5. If this is 0.1, this is 0.9. If this is 0 0.8, this is 0.2. You get the idea, hopefully. These two have to add up to 1. Well, then we have another event. I don't know, maybe it's uh, B. So we'll call this probability of B. Well, and this will be the probability of not B, if you get my meaning. And this one right here will also be the probability of B happening, and this will be the probability of not B happening. I especially use these when things are different, like you're told, if this happens, then this is the case, and this is the case. But if this happens, then something different might happen with this one or this one. Maybe this is if you're picking from something, you know, without replacement. Well, then there's less of the remaining, and it depends what you've picked. you got to think a little bit carefully about this. And a nice easy trick for this is that um, what this tells you then is if you went from A and then you went to B, well, then this probability then will be just probability of A times probability of B. Now, that here we can just multiply these two things together to figure out the total probability. Here, for example, I would just multiply probability of A times probability of not B. So whatever numbers we put there, those we would put here. This would be probability of not A and probability of B. Probability of B. And this here would be the probability of not A and probability of not B. So to see we can figure out this probability and this one and this one and this one. I just multiply this times this or this times this to get that one or this times this to get that one or this times this to get that one. And furthermore, this plus this plus this plus this should all equal one. This is like a nice way to put everything together. So let's see if we can do this with an example. I love this haters gotta hate. This kid is awesome. I love his bike. All right, so you're riding to school on a super bad bike, okay? This is a, a very, very bad one because uh, the probability that you have a flat tire on a given day is 0.4. That is awful. Okay, so we're going to call, like, you know, probability flat, let's just say. That'll be 0 0.4. All right, if you have a flat tire, the probability that you're late is 0.9. But if you didn't have a flat tire, then the probability that you're late is 0.3. In other words, you're basically late a lot of the times. You're late 30% of the time to begin with. You're maybe not the most uh, uh, reliable student, let's just say. So given that you're late to school, what's the probability you had a flat tire? Okay, let's try to figure out what we're trying to, to get here. We want to know what's the probability you had a flat, so I'm going to write it like this. I want, I want probability of flat, I'm going to say F for flat, given that you were late. So I'll say given late. How am I going to do this? If you remember the equation for um, conditional probability, probability of A given B is always the probability of A and B happening, so flat and late, all that divided by the second one, so which is probability of late. So I just got to basically figure out this, and I've got it. Let's go ahead and maybe fill out this Venn diagram to see if it'll help us. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out some things here. So I'll call this uh, flat, and I'll call this not flat. And this I'll call it late, and I'll call this not late. This will be late, this will be not late. So see, you can have a flat tire and be late. Or you can have a flat tire and not late. You can have not flat and late, not flat, not late. All right, let's figure out these probabilities then. So what are the probabilities? What's the probability of having a flat? It was 0 0.4, right? A flat tire means uh, when your tire is punctured, it has no air in it, so 0.4. Well, by complementary events, this then must be 0.6. On exam, by the way, they often write some of it. You have to figure out the rest of it. But I'm just showing you how to do You You can do the whole thing. All right, so now we know if you had a flat tire, then the probability of being late is 0.9. So watch. Flat, late, this is 0.9. You see, from there I can figure out, ah, that means if I went flat and not late, well, 0.9 plus 0.1 is the only way to get 1 together. So that's that one.
How about this? If you didn't have a flat tire, so you're down here, whoosh, the probability of you being late is 0.3. Ah, so 0.3 goes up here for late. What goes down here then? 0.7. Do you see I've got them all figured out? In fact, I can go ahead and figure out all these probabilities. So this probability is actually going to be 0 0.4 times 0 0.9, which by the way, 4 times 9 is 36, so put the decimals, it's 0.36. All right, how about this one? This is 0.4. I'm just doing all of them. I don't even need to do all of them, but it's just kind of for fun to show you. Well, 4 times 1 is 4, but I move my decimal over by 2, so it'll be 0.04. All right, this one here, 0.6 times 0.3. By the way, if you needed to, you could use a calculator for this. Uh, 0.6 times 0.3, 6 times 3 is 18, so 0 0.18. And then this one right here, 0 0.6 times 0 0.7. What's that? That's 0 0.42, isn't it? So there we go. We've got this all kind of figured out. I notice 0.36 plus 0 0.04, that adds up to 0.40, uh, plus 0 0.18 plus 0.4. 4, 2, and that adds up to 0.6, uh, that, equals, that equals 1, so we're fine. Now what are we actually looking to do? We need to know uh, a couple of things, don't we? We need to know what's the probability of um, flat and late. Do I know that one? Maybe I'll color code these ones here. So do I know flat and late? Do I know this? Well, yeah, look, flat and late. That was this number here. So that means I know for sure now it's going to go, all right, so probability of flat and late is going to be uh, given, sorry, flat given that it was late is going to be probability of flat and late, which is a 0 0.36. See that number went there? Divide that by, mm, let's see, I need another thing here. So let me do it maybe in purple here. Uh, no, I'll do it in red. So what's the probability of being late? Well, where did you finish being late? You finished being late here, but you also fin you're also late here. So what do I do here? So this is a little bit complicated. See, so probability of late, what's that? Well, it's going to be this thing plus this thing. There's two different ways. So 0 0.36 plus 0 0.18. That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to put that down here. So that's where I get this number here, 0 0.36 plus 0 0.18. Well, then I just have to do this on my calculator then. So flat given late, it's just going to be, I'll do a nice maybe a pretty fraction here. So I'll say 0 0.36 over 0 0.36 plus 0 0.18. I end up with 0.66666 repeating. So it'll, three significant figures will be 0 0.667. 0 0.667. And it's approximately. So we put it like that. Do you see how we could solve this? So this was actually a fairly difficult looking question. And the key was draw yourself a tree diagram. It helps you to figure things out. It was a conditional probability, so we had to find the probability of flat and late, but that was here. And we had to figure out the probability of late. There's two ways you were late, either flat, late, or not flat and late. So we just added those two numbers. We added this 0.36 and the 0.18. That's how we did it. And we just divided them according to that equation. Ta-da!